Hi guys, my name is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a Lenovo computer if it's password locked and you forgot your password, you can't get by it. Before we begin guys, two quick things. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this video was helpful. If I do help you through an issue and you feel like supporting the channel a little more, uh, please feel free to leave a super thanks. Even a couple bucks goes a long way to me making these videos and staying on hand as much as possible for questions or comments. If you have a question, check the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do have to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, IceHash. IceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some money on the side. It's a great way to start getting into the world of crypto. You can check them out here or I'll fill you in a little more at the end of the video. Now let's get into the project. All right, so in this video today, I have a Lenovo Yoga 9 that I'm using. As you can see, it turns on fine, but when you go to log in, it asks for a password or a PIN number. PIN is incorrect. Yeah, so you can't get by it. So I'm going to show you how to get by this today. What I'm going to do now is factory reset this to get by the passcode. I'm going to hold down my shift key while at the same time selecting the restart option. So here I go. I'm going to hold down on shift. Go down to the bottom right, hit power, and restart. And I'm still holding down shift. Don't let go of the shift key yet until it restarts. There you go. So now you come to this screen here. So I'm gonna hit use a device, use a USB drive, network connection, or Windows. I have here a Windows 10 install media USB. If you guys wanna see how to create this yourself for free, check the link at the top of the screen. Um, if you have to purchase this instead, there'll be a link below in the description to my Amazon store. It'll give you an example of the correct item to purchase. But this is what I'm going to be using is a Windows 10 install media USB. I'm going to plug this into the USB port now and I'm going to hit use a device. And I'm going to select USB hard drive. So now in this screen, you just select your languages, follow all, all your prompts, hit next. Install now. So here are just some TNCs, accept and continue. Next. So here again is that choice you're making. Keep your files or a new install. Because of my situation, I'm going new install, deleting everything. You guys may want to keep files. It's up to you and your situation. Because I'm deleting everything, I'm going to delete every partition that I can see until I'm left with unallocated space. I want to remove all the data and I'm left with unallocated space that um, closely resembles your hard drive, your solid state drive size. So that's what I'm going to do next. And now Windows is installing. So here are some more prompts starting with your region. I'm going to hit yes. Is the keyboard layout correct? Yes. Do I want to add a second keyboard layout? No, I'm going to skip. So here's a choice you have to make, guys. You've got to connect to a network or not. If you connect to a network, it's going to prompt you to either create a Microsoft account or log into your Microsoft account. Um, and odds are you're not going to be able to get by that screen unless you do that. You'll kind of be stuck there. I don't want to sign into my Microsoft account. This is not my computer. And I don't want to be forced to create one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to the bottom left and hit I don't have internet. It's going to double check with me again, and I'm going to hit bottom left, continue with limited setup. Again, I don't want to sign into a, a Wi-Fi network. Who's going to sign into this PC? I'm just going to name it Lenovo. This is where you would enter a password. I'm just going to skip it and hit next. And then again, these are uh, settings for your device. I usually like having all these settings off. I don't like giving people data on me without getting paid for it. <laughs> um, so this is a personal choice, but I'm just gonna unselect all this and hit accept. You guys can do whatever. Same here, I'm gonna hit not now uh, to giving Cortana more information. 
and it continues. At that point, guys, it's generally a good idea to unplug your, your USB. Um, sometimes after this point, it has to restart and you don't want it accessing the install media again um, and starting the process over. So it's a good point here to take out that USB so that if it restarts, it, it stays in the process that it's currently in. All right, so here you are at your desktop. So successful operation, your password has been bypassed, you're at your desktop. Uh, if you chose the option to save your files, hopefully they're still there. Me, I erased everything. You want to do something right now though. You want to sign on to your Wi-Fi network now and uh, click on this link if you need help updating the computer. Uh, you will have a lot of operating system updates, a lot of security updates after this install. So you want to click on that link, get all your updates processed, make sure your computer is in a good spot. Please like, share, subscribe if this helped you out. If you want to support my channel a little further, please feel free to leave a super thanks. Again, even a couple bucks goes a long way to me making these videos and staying on hand as often as I can for comments. And as promised at the beginning of the video, a little more info on my sponsor, NiceHash. As mentioned, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. And again, what that means is you can take your computer's unused, untapped power and rent it out to people online who mine various kinds of cryptocurrency. You get paid for that in Bitcoin. It is a great way to get some money on the side with no work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto with no uh, risk to your investment. You've already bought the computer. You're already paying the electricity. Um, it's a great way to do this. It's a fun world. You can use their website to hold your money on their wallets. You can use their research tools to research other cryptocurrencies, and you can even use their exchange to trade for other cryptocurrencies. Again, if you want any more information, feel free to click the link above or leave me a message. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.